What's going on people? We are back with another freaking video and you know what? Things have gotten rather intense when it comes to the whole situation with Angela Michael. Now we do know that Michael had disappeared and now he's been found. But of course there was so much things that were said by Angela that have definitely brought a bigger concern to the situation of why did he even disappear in the first place and what's going to happen next? Do you see what I'm saying? And this is why we're here right now. Now luckily for myself I was able to come across a very interesting article here by In Touch. Now as you can see by the titles of in particular it does start off by saying that uh, Angela Deem hints at divorce after Michael was found um, I got three lawyers. Now what the hell is this all about? Why is she thinking about a divorce? But the thing is, though, this isn't the first time we've heard her talk about divorce. So let's just bear that in mind. But before we even continue and we get into it, we are on the road to 50k subscribers. We've got one more day to get there before the end of the month. I believe we need around about 300 more people, something like that. Please get subscribed and help us get there. And then, of course, always. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> now, with that being said, I'm just going to get into this one here, nitty and gritty. Now, it does say... Angela says this, honestly, I'm hurt that he did that and I love him, but I can't take him back because what he did, he proves that he don't give an F, um, she said in a YouTube video while she was live, okay, on uh, February 26th, after receiving a call from the police that Michael was found safe. However, told her that he was in fear of his life and did not want Angela, uh, 58, to know his location, which literally does scream a problem this is a screams a massive problem you know but also on top of that it does continue by saying that angela added that she had three lawyers and hinted that she planned to file for divorce from michael um and nigeria's people that backed him to get him a good lawyer because mine is 10k um f in an hour she said now, of course this is angela do what angela does best and that is speaking in a way where she's trying to instill fear into michael her whole attitude in their relationship has been based on her installing fear towards michael rather than trying to show him that she loves him rather than trying to show him that they can work rather to try and show him that once he comes to america and once they're together all the time life will be better for both of them instead of doing that angela's whole angle has always been how can i instill fear into michael's eyes how can i make him afraid to not mess with me how can i make him know that i'm not the american that you want to mess with as she always says i'm an american but also on top of that it continues here by saying michael left um, left everything here i know these people probably think oh maybe he just left uh, but like nothing not my idea nothing to show his name on it no clothing not a tooth buff zero um zero point zero zero no wallet nothing clothes are on his back is what he left with on friday angela shared with john noting that he disappeared from angela's home in this in georgia with only 40 bucks on his name now here's the thing when we really look into these details you gotta wonder and this is something that i'm understanding what i'm hearing on the internet right now the reason why he left without nothing pretty much because allegedly andrew has been holding his documents hostage hostage therefore he can't leave which to be fair would make a lot of sense why he left without it because in true reading to the somebody that's leaving somebody that he's afraid of he'd be leaving because you know um this person is not treated him properly and if these allegations are true that she has been holding his information do um, hostage it makes a lot of sense to why he decided to disappear without nothing and also why he told the police what he told them and to be fair i guess him actually him actually approaching the police himself in particular does say a whole lot more and it adds more to the situation itself in particular now just to leave off this bit here it does say that uh, if he left on his own he should have called me Angela continued everybody in this town i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell you they say angela he's ever walked out because he's got no real reason to stay i don't want to believe that but it's looking like he's planned this whole effing time listen it's a possibility maybe he did plan this but that this is the problem the problem is that nobody can blame him because she has never ever treated michael as if she, she respects him she has always respect treated him as if he's below her as if she's been as if he's beneath all she ever does is belittle him all she ever does is try and control him she wouldn't even let him get a freaking job she wouldn't even let him go out and, and go out with his own friends but no matter what he did she always monitored his behavior so of course this man finally got to a point where he decided that he wanted to run away and he decided that he didn't want to be here anymore but at the same time though we do know that you know michael's long game if anything was to finally get to the states and now he's here maybe there was a part of michael that thought that thought that maybe once we live together angela's going to become nicer to me maybe angela won't be as strict maybe angela will become you know a bit more relaxed but then that's not what happened is it he's moved and things have only continued to continue the way where well, in fact things have only got worse or at least that's what we are being led to believe with the fact that she has been allegedly withholding his stuff you know to prevent him from all this kind of stuff right but here's the thing though this right here is just the beginning there's also another article that i want to touch on as well so let's get to that one um uh, right now 
my apologies before we even move on to anything else down here it does also continue by saying the police were contacted by michael they verified it was him john explained that he had a burner phone or another phone that uh, nobody knew about and on that phone he had pictures of his passport that he left uh, that verified his id is him his id his id is him i just said that she was effing mad as hell that michael took off without telling her and left her to worry about that he, he was hurt uh, you feared for your effing life, so why do you come? So why did you come here? You've been here for nearly seven effing years. So you, yeah, so you've been with me, sorry, for nearly seven effing years. And you said before suggesting that Michael was using ninety day fiance as uh, has her way to get to the U.S. I mean, listen, this is the thing. I think the thing that this is the leg that Angela does not have a leg to stand in, in my opinion, because of the way she's treated Michael throughout the whole seven years. She cannot say that this man used me. And the reason why, and, and, and that's why, because of the way she's treated him, it'd be very, very different if she had treated him with love, care, or the whole shebang. Let's say she had treated him in that capacity, you know, where she showed that, 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 that she only had good intentions towards him, that she never necessarily went over to Nigeria and vandalized his home, vandalized his car. Let's say she never done anything negative to him and she was nothing but an angel. And then he comes to America and then bounces. You know what? She's got a leg to stand on. But she hasn't because all she's done is abuse him and because she's abused him she has given evidence the, this evidence is something that we have seen documented on social media whether that be videos that i've made other people have made and also things that we've seen on the show we have seen the way she has bullied this man so even if she was to try and make this point about how oh, you know this man you know was just using me what leg does she stand on because her behavior has shown that if anything she has pushed him away more than she has tried to walk him into our, her home so that's something Angela obviously has to think about. But of course, Angela doesn't think all she ever does is just go absolutely berserk because that is within her character, sadly. So, hmm. but with that being said, though, I'm going to leave this here. Actually, hold on a minute. So my apologies. There's a little bit more at the bottom here. I don't know why I'm missing these things. <laughs> now, it also says here that uh, he he fooled the whole damn, the whole, <clears throat> he fooled the whole goddamn world, man. Angela continued as she broke down in tears. Her daughter, uh, Scott Dean, told her, no, he didn't. He fooled you, mom. <laughs> Us real ones knew he fooled you. I mean, listen, again, it's always going to be easy to say that, yes, he's the one that got the better hand. He's the one that fooled her. Blood, 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 like I said before, but the fact is this, though, looking at the evidence at hand, Angela only ever made life hard for Michael. She gave him every reason to want to leave her. That's that. And if at some point, let's just run the narrative that, yes, he actually did want to be with originally. At the end of the day, at some point, she pushed him away enough for him to be like, you know what, F it. I'm going to stick for it until I get my green card. And once I get it, I'm going to bounce. Huh. It really depends on what angle you want to look at it, what, what, what perspective you want to look at it. But I'm just saying, even if Michael did use her, which, which he probably did, <laughs> the fact is, though, her behavior definitely did not help the situation. It doesn't give her a defense in any way. Now, whether or not these things would ever matter in the law of court, if it ever came to that in terms of, you know, trying to get him deported, I have no idea. But what I do know is that the evidence is here online. And uh, if I was Michael now, you know, and I needed a lawyer, I would literally be saying, hey, look at all of these things that she's done to him, that she's done to me. It's all over the Internet. Can we not use this in some way? Unless Michael was smart enough to record every single event of everything that ever went down so that he could use it against Angela in the future. And if he did that, the guy's winning. He's absolutely winning. But nonetheless, though, let me know what you're thinking down below and uh, we can talk about it. But like I said before, we are on the road to 50k subscribers. We've got one more day to get there. Come on. End of the month. I know we can do it. Come on, guys. With that being said, peace. Oh.